next guest is a very talented and Tony-nominated actor whom you know as the responsible adult on the popular show Euphoria. New episodes come out Sundays on HBO Max. Please welcome Coleman Domingo. <laughs> A good look. Oh, thanks so much, man. I thought a little shine for my first night time. You know? Good, good, good. It's great to have you here. Where are you from originally? I'm actually from Philadelphia, from Philly. Philadelphia? What part of Philadelphia? West Philly, born and raised. Oh, well, yeah, you're like there the Fresh go. Prince, yeah. yeah absolutely. Did, Fresh you, Prince. Don't, did you know the Fresh Prince? I actually did know the Fresh Prince. I knew Will. We went to high school together. Although, you know, we went to high school together. I was in a gym class with him and in a science class, but he was part of the cool kids, and oh. I was, you know, a geek. Weren't? No, nah, I was a geek. Well, if you'd worn that outfit, you would have been part <laughs> of the cool kids. I, I needed this outfit in high school, trust me. I was Jazzy it. Jeff in your school? No, nah, Jazzy Jeff went to Bartram High School, but Jeff and, and uh, Will would go and perform at the Wynn Ballroom over in West Philly while I was somewhere, I'm sure, getting punched in the face. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, I think, um, you know, I was thinking about, I saw you in Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, and you've been in some serious stuff, yeah. uh, Fear the Walking Dead, uh, Selma, you know, you know what you've been in. But <laughs> I didn't know right. that you were in a uh, sketch, on a sketch comedy show, I had no idea. Yeah, I was in a sketch comedy show with Kate McKinnon. Yeah, who's yeah. the greatest. It was yeah. cool, she's awesome, yeah. We did this show, a thousand years ago on the Logo Network called The Big Gay Sketch Show. And we would- I remember the title. I don't think I ever saw it, but I do remember that. It yeah. was wild. It was in the beginnings of RuPaul's Drag Race. So it was like RuPaul's Drag Race and Big Gay Sketch Show were the tent poles of that network. And we would perform everything. I played Maya Angelou, and I was, <laughs> you know, Nick Cannon, you name it, uh, Morgan Freeman. But I had a good time with Maya Angelou because I would read, um, uh, post from Craigslist, Misconnections. <laughs> as my Angelou? Yeah, as my Angelou, like dirty things, like, you know, like, you know, hello, you know. Hi, I'm Maya Angelou, poet, actress, civil rights legend. Today on Craigslist, um, I'll be reading from the Misconnections uh, section entitled, Hot Chocolate Looking for a Chub. <laughs> Things like that. <laughs> did you ever hear from her? No, I never heard from her. Never heard from her, no. Does Oprah know you did this? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she actually does. Oh, she does? She does, because I actually did Oprah as well. Oh, you did do yeah, Oprah? I did a version of Oprah, and it's a really weird, dark, crazy, highly sexually charged sketch. <laughs> And, um, and uh, I, I do a lot, my Oprah was this. I would do a lot of yelling, like, you know, like, you know, hello, everybody! <laughs> and, you know, I just did that over and over again, and people caught up. And I, I wore, like, you know, an Oprah outfit and a wig, the whole nine. And, <laughs> and, but I did find out that she found out that I played her. You did? Yeah. Who ratted you out? Lee Daniels. Oh, Lee Daniels yeah, I'm gonna get you. Really? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to get you, Lee. Yeah, oh. Lee, Lee called me up one day and was like, you know I showed Oprah, uh, the big A sketch show, and you playing her. And I was mortified because it's a, okay, the sketch has, at some point I'm wearing a ball gag in my mouth. She's having crazy sex and doing weird things. And I, 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 so every time I've seen her, because I've, actually, I've actually been very friendly with Oprah, and every time I see her, I always feel like she looks at me like, I know what you did. Oh. <laughs> but, but, no, but, but she's jovial and friendly. She but never she, brought it up, though. She huh? never brings it up. Maybe she's waiting for the, the, the right <laughs> yeah. moment. You know, to when like, you're at your it. most vulnerable. <laughs> exactly. Wow, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah. So you do know Oprah. Have you been to her home and everything? Yeah, man, I've been to um, her home in Montecito, which oh, is beautiful. Oh, wow. I went there for um, a Legends uh, brunch and ball. It was oh. beautiful. We were honoring civil rights legends like John Lewis and, you know, I mean, all these legends that were incredible. Wow. Sidney Poitier, you name it. And she had this huge, gorgeous brunch on her land. And her land is called the Promised Land. And so, I mean, imagine that you're going to a place called the Promised Land. I think it, it signifies, you know, it's like, hey, this is where you can dream. You could have this too. So I started to dream bigger too after that. Yeah, know? well, yeah. I mean, that's, uh, <laughs> that's pretty, well, wow, that's, I'm, I'm just you're trying to imagine the whole thing. Oh, you it, can't. Yeah, no, it, I it, no, it's no. you can't because I think I look. I was I saw a picture of myself at that um, brunch, 
and I'm just crying the whole time. I'm like, I don't believe this is happening. <laughs> look, look who's here. I feel like I was a weeping mess. Maybe that's why Oprah didn't bring up the imitation. Yeah, it's, it's, it's too much. She didn't bring, she, it's just too much. She, she, <laughs> this guy's very vulnerable. <laughs> she, yeah. Now you're on the show Euphoria, which is a big hit into your character. I have to tell you, a lot of our staff was was is like very excited. They they love your your character on the show, Ollie. And and um, this is a, I mean, this is a show that is uh, is disturbing to a lot of people. Yeah, some people just can't watch it, especially people with teenage kids. Yeah, right. But yeah. I actually think it's like it's the most amazing thing about the show is that I play a character who is really sort of the um, I don't know. He's holding everyone to their truths. He is a, a real steady guy who's also a recovering addict. And um, you know he's sort of that quiet in the storm of all these wild kids doing wild things. But he sort of grounds and anchors the show. Who is more, um, uh, maybe the word effusive, or who's more uh, passionate, the fans of the show Euphoria or Fear the Walking Dead? Well, the fans of Fear the Walking Dead, because I play a villain named Victor Strand, usually see me in the market and they're like, I hate you! You know? <laughs> and so I don't get that from Euphoria. Euphoria is yes. like, oh, Ali, will you be my friend? Will you be my sponsor? Hang out with me. People want hugs with Ali. <laughs> well, it's great to have you here. Uh, you. The show, you know, is called Euphoria. Sundays on HBO Max. Coleman Domingo, everybody. Thank you, Coleman. Thank you. We'll be back at the end of your Congratulations on making it to the end of a YouTube video. Why not celebrate by clicking the subscribe button? You earned it.